Thanks for watching residing here in this lovely white house prior to the school being built here in 2004. Today he comes to the school and, and haunts the school. Oh, Mr. Watson. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen him around a few times. It's been a while now. It's been a number of years. So in 2002, 2003, when the school district was looking to build a new high school out here, this was a perfect property for the school. Mr. Watson owned the land and through eminent domain, they took the land from Mr. Watson. One time, it was early in the morning, Mr. Miller, who was here about 5.30, and all of a sudden, my radio turned on and started playing. So Mr. Watson lets us know he's here pretty frequently. And every once in a while, when you hear late at night, you'll hear weird sounds. I've had an encounter with Mr. Watson. One day when I was out sick, I came back the next day and had discovered that Mr. Watson had rearranged my whole desk. Well, I, I can't say definitively it's Mr. Watson, but years ago, I uh, used to do security after school. A couple of things that were always kind of weird, and I didn't really think about it. First of all, there was a custodian here by the name of John Adams. John was a funny fellow, and a couple of times he'd come to me and, and ask why I was messing with him. I'd ask him, what, what are you talking about, John? He said, when I was down cleaning in the gymnasium or the auditorium, if somebody was calling my name, I thought it was you. Was like, no, it wasn't me. Uh, he swears the one time that I was up at bridges that go from the auditorium to the gymnasium making faces at him. Said, John, it wasn't me. I was up here in my room, like great an essay. I'm thinking that John saw something or someone. Um, and a lot of times after school, there's no one here, especially that late. All right, we're at location. This is the house haunted by Mr. Watson.